Hi right, guys, let's review one of my favorite characters today, Buck. All right, let's take a look at his stats. See what we can learn from them. Health is really good. Buck is a tank. Great health. Takes a lot of damage. Doesn't die so quick. So that's great. Damage is also high. 10,000. Speed, 76. So obviously very slow. A lot of tanks are always very slow. Then for our primal instinct, we have opponents around Buck are pulled towards him at the start of a stampede. So Buck can do a stampede where he like... Kind of like a dash but a lot slower it like runs into someone and bumps them basically but when you do that he actually pulls people toward him kind of like if you're used to bruce's instinct also is very similar when he does the ground slam people get pulled to him and the same thing happens here when we do our primal instinct when we do our special the opponents get attracted get closer get pulled so that's that we, in weapons, we have a spear 360, a little swish, and we have a rolling bomb with a decent range, all right? And the shotgun burst, as you would imagine, not, not, not a good range, all right? So the spear and the shotgun, not great range. The bomb does have a decent range, kind of like I would say low medium side, but still, those weapons are good if you can get close to people when you run into them, right? That's the main move with buck that you have to get right and a lot of times you get that wrong you aim in the wrong direction because once buck starts running you can't determine the direction of your of the special all right so that's the drawback but we'll get to that when we look at the gameplay let's look at our upgrade so far obviously we're level 17 we can go up a little bit and uh, we will but i could get up to level 18 but i was waiting for when they have their you know when they have the discounts uh, so you get like a little bit of the coinage off. That's when I'll upgrade. And items, this is what we have so far. There's a lot of good items I have unlocked for Buck. So it's really hard to choose. Like normally, I would really want the Molotov Bomb. But because I need the inflatable muscles, I do have that for Buck. I keep that on. And you don't want Buck as slow as he is having to cross a lake or any body of water so i need the holy sandals there and the self defib gotta have that i if you can get a second life come on who wouldn't have this item so i have that and then lastly i went with vampire teeth but because i had these two premium items the inflatable muscles and the self defibrillator i had to take those two slots because that's what's important um and they really do help out a lot I'm letting go of the Molotov bomb. That could be really useful in this case. And then even these um, adrenaline or cluster bomb, these two items could also be very useful. But you know, you only have a certain number of slots till I open the next one. I won't be able to get Molotov or the adrenaline. We'll see which one we end up with. In weapons, you could see I have maxed out uh, both the range and cooldown because you know the range is so short. But the cooldown works real good for the spear. It, it just happens real fast if you have that maxed out. The cooldown for the bomb is there. The radius is not that big. We don't have a lot of points to use. I wouldn't even care about knockback with Buck. I don't want to. I don't want any enemies to get away from me with Buck because all my weapons are short range. The knockback is completely useless in my opinion. Range you do want to have a little bit. Pins we got the good old Buck. Uh, one of my favorites is. Just He's good the way he is. And the Nutcracker Buck is kind of cool too. Little Christmas theme. Bucolic, Bucolic or Bucolic is okay. I like this. I keep this on. But this is actually not a premium skin. You unlock this when you level up. But this Dragon Buck is one of the better looking skins. So why don't we equip that? And let's get into our gameplay. We go through everything. We got all our stats down. One of my favorite characters to play with. And let's go solo battle so we can showcase a little bit of what he can do. Wow, we got a pretty loaded lobby here. Wanna kind of start in a chill spot. Maybe by this guard here. You don't want to be around too many of the faster long shot type of players because they could keep their distance. Alright, so there we go. We got that. We got that. Duke is probably not. There you go. This Duke is being silly. And we're going to probably end this guy's life. 
A Nyx is someone you want to stay with. I think they're AFK, so let's get them. Thank you. Sometimes AFK works for you, man. All right, so there you go. That's I already muscled up a little bit with Buck. We have uh, all the weapons except the shotgun, so we're going to be looking for that. As you can see how slow Buck really is. Okay, tank versus tank. Ooh. That's always a good battle, you know. You you want to fight another tank with a tank. That's always fun. You want to see who's going to come out on top. And there you have it. So we got four kills already. Didn't really ask for them, but people just came at you. You know, sometimes people just come at you <laughs> without thinking. And that gives you a few kills, so that's nice. We have 13 people left on the map. All right. Let me just get out of this so you could actually see Buck. There you have it in all his glory, his big head. He gets bigger when you have muscles, obviously. Uh, but I think this is the biggest he's going to get. My general thing with Buck is I want to get as close to people as possible. Throw the bomb, shotgun, swipe, and just you know protect yourself at all times. And there you have it. You know, we just took care of Earl, and Earl is not that easy to kill. Earl is also kind of a tank. Um, he's not that easy to kill. But there we have it. See, I just mis-aimed my run. And that's the thing with Buck. If you mis-aim the run, it's not looking good, you know. You're going to get yourself messed up if you mis-aim the run. Yeah, and a lot of times the run doesn't go around buildings very well. You think you can, like, go straight, but you're actually going to bump into someone because Buck is big. His size is always something interesting. All right, so... We got a couple of friends here trying to double team us, maybe. No, they're all just fighting. And then, yeah, see, this is the thing. Oh, I'm going to kill Baby Jack. That's how it is. Yes, he's so hard to get close to people. But you know when you get close to people, it's going to be game over for them. There you go, like this bunny here. Get close to him, it's game over. Molly, I called him a bunny, but that was a kangaroo. But Molly is, you know, very easy to kill. <clears throat> that was bad move. Okay, now we're going to protect <clears throat> our health kit here. Oh, there's a Yara back there too. Yara, I see you. I just wanna want you to know I see you. And that's it. We'll take this health kit too then. That's what people want. I want to stay away from Yara's range there. And I want to kind of control this health kit. I don't want people to get too close here. There's Yara over there. They're going to end up fighting with each other too. No problem with that. Yara's coming around. Yara has no choice. You know what I mean? There you go. Yara's gonna get out probably sooner than some of these other ones. Okay. So we are gonna try to... Oh, that was a bad move on my part. But I'm fine with him going. I have the defibrillator. I'm gonna get a second life anyway. No problem. That's easy, easy work, right? At that level, you know, it's easy work. But you see, Buck, you know, I obviously have some perks that a lot of people won't have, like muscles and the self-defib, but I didn't even use the self-defib in this particular match. Oftentimes, you know, at higher levels, you do end up dying, so defib does come in handy. But as you saw in this match, really, I only use the muscles a little bit, and my muscles are only level 5. They do help to increase your size. Uh, both attack and damage, I feel like, to help with. So, there you go. That's Buck for you. One of my favorite characters. Definitely a fun one to try. Uh, in the beginning, Buck, Bruce, and Nyx are the three you get to choose from. And I think Buck is one of the best ones to choose from. I think it's probably Buck for me. Buck would be the number one choice. Nyx would be number two. And Bruce would be number three. The good thing about Bruce, though, is you do get more kills in the beginning with Bruce than you do with Nyx. Because Bruce does that two ground slams, and you kill someone, and you could get a health kit that way. So I would actually, maybe even with Nyx and Bruce, that's a tie for me. 
because nyx it's hard to get kills with nyx you have to learn how to play with nyx but once you get really good with nyx then obviously nyx is better than maybe both of them in some ways so that's buck for you one of the best give him a try try to level him up he gets better like every other character as they level up and i'll see you in the next one peace